Hi there, welcome back to another strategy breakdown and testing video. This time we're taking a look at the SMA Offset V1, a strategy that is built around simple yet effective moving average techniques. This isn't one of those overcomplicated algorithms, so don't let this simplicity fool you, because with a mix of the SMA and EMA signals, it packs a punch when it comes to optimizing short-term trades. So, what makes this strategy interesting? Well, the SMA Offset V1 uses customizable offsets to fine-tune when it enters and exit trades. You've got your typical buy and sell triggers based on price movements around the SMA and EMA lines. But with the added flexibility of adjusting these parameters to fit market conditions, whether you're aiming for quick profits or testing a longer hold, this strategy has some built-in options for both. In this video, we'll break down the logic behind how this strategy works, look at the settings that makes it tick, and of course, go over the results of the backtests. Spoiler alert, while the strategy has solid foundations, there's always room for tweaks depending on your risk tolerance and trading goals. So let's dive in and see how this strategy fits your trading style. You can find the strategy on GitHub if you search on its name. I'll also include the link to those uh, GitHub repositories in the video description so that you can download this algo directly from GitHub. Let's click on the first one here to see the contents of the file and check out how the algorithm works. The first thing that I'd like to mention here is the author of this code. His or her name is Tirail and therefore all the kudos and compliments go to this person. I'm just testing out and present you the analysis on my backtesting environment, and hopefully this strategy has a high probability to be profitable. Now let's focus on the code itself. The first thing here to see is the MI types dictionary. Here there are two moving averages configured, and later in this code we'll see why this part is here. The strategy is ready for hyperparameter optimization of the SMA on the buy side and EMA on the sell side. This other section below has also information about the ranges in which the optimal parameters have to be found. Furthermore, the strategy has a stop loss of 50% set, which is quite large and will give trades lots of breathing room to eventually, and hopefully, higher gains. Then here is the ROI table configured and that has time-based take profits set in multiple points in time. In this case the 60, 90 and 220 minute mark. Furthermore, there is a trailing stop loss set that might be of uh, influence on the backtest results you see later, so keep this in mind. And uh, by the way, always test on your own setup to see how well the algo performs over there. The strategy is supposed to be working best on the 5 minute time frame, and we'll see later if this is really the case here. There is also a custom stop loss configured, but it is disabled with this line. In the populate indicators method, the indicators are configured on which the buy and sell signals will work. And as you can see here, there are only two indicators configured to be entered into the data frame. An MA offset buy indicator and an MA offset sell indicator. The buy offset first used the MA type. And the types of MA are in the dictionary we found at the beginning of this strategy. The actual use of which kind of MA is determined in the hyperspace parameter settings, next to the base and B candles buy value. And the offset for the calculation. Now these values are also written down in the section for hyper optimizing, and in that part of the code the ranges are also determined in which the optimal parameters have to be found if you want to do some hyperparameter optimization for this strategy. And the creation of the MA offset cell column in the data frame is the same calculation. The MA type, its base candles buy value and the high offset candle are all determined in the initial hyperparameter setting and also set for optimizing in the optimization settings section. With hyperparameter optimization, you can find the optimized values that can be used in your strategy. But you also have to be aware that you are introducing curve fitting bias, and that might cause suboptimal future behavior for your algo. As for the final buy and sell signals, these are determined in this final section. The main condition for triggering a buy is when the price crosses above the MA offset buy, and adjusted moving average. And the buy condition also checks if the trading volume is greater than zero to ensure that the market is active. The sell condition is triggered when the price crosses below the MA offset sell. Now similar to the buy logic, this checks for a cross in the opposite direction and indicates if the price has peaked and is now starting to fall. 
It also ensures that there is threading activity by checking if the volume is greater than zero. So in other words, the strategy looks to sell when the price, which have been above the adjusted moving average, starts to drop back below it. This is often a sign that the upward momentum is ending and a potential price drop might occur. Now let's test this uh, super simple strategy and see if this has a potential for future trading opportunities. In the meantime, I want to thank you for viewing this video and if you like what I do, then please click the like button, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get notified on my future videos. All the files that I create, the strategies code, notebooks, backtest outputs and other informational blog posts on what I do are available on my Patreon site. This way you can check my work and replicate what I do, just to be fully transparent here. Now if you want to enjoy discounts for other benefits on the many trading related services that I personally use, like Bybit, TradingView, Linode and many others, then you can use the affiliate links that I have in the description below. Again, many thanks for your support and now let's get back to the results I got from my backtests. As it stands, the originally configured 5 minute strategy has indeed the best cards in hand for profitability. Now out of the box, this algorithm scored 338 points and got a hypothetical 341% return over the backtest period. It also has a respectable 75% win rate and with an average of 5 consecutive wins over 2 consecutive losses, it also is easy on the nerves. If we take a closer look at the equity curve, then we see more of the characteristics of this trading strategy. On a 5 minute time frame, this is not the most active one, which we can see at these uh, flat lines over several weeks, but when it comes to detecting a profitable trade, then it certainly catches it. And this also has a positive impact on the drawdown curve, which remains flat most of the time, although sometimes there are spikes upwards. Now the maximum drawdown detected at backtesting was 9% at most. If we take a closer look at the win rate and profit distribution, then the box plot of uh, the win rate distribution here on the left shows a very high win rate, close to 100% on the majority of the trades, indicating that uh, most of these are profitable. However, the presence of a small number of lower win rates suggests that occasional losses or less frequent successes uh, occur in certain weeks. The profit distribution on the right reveals that while the majority of weekly profits are small and clustered around the median, there are a few significant outliers that represent a large profitable trades. And this indicates that although the strategy is generally consistent, it occasionally captures much larger profits. But this is also a major remark because the strategy's profitability seems to rely on these few outliers to boost the overall returns. So overall, this uh, algo might not be the highest scoring type in comparison with the other more advanced trading algorithms, but I think this will make a good foundation to build further trading rules on. Another major remark that I have on this uh, algo is that uh, the amount of trading signals it gets on the 5 minute time frame is way too low. So optimizing with high prop seems to be a good idea, but keep remembering that you'll introduce biases here too. And that's where additional trading rules might prevent this and help to get a higher quantity and quality of trading signals. As for now, I think this is enough information about this super simple trading algorithm that you can freely download from GitHub. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.